Hello everyone and welcome back to the Modern Investing channel. Today we are going to talk about the best recovery stock from the last year plus of crazy lockdowns and that is an airport stock, Beijing Capital International Airport to be precise. The airport of the capital of the most populous country in the world, which has a lot to offer. I think this is a crazy undervalued stock and in my personal opinion we will see the stock triple in price in the not so distant future. I'm going to tell you all about it in a second, but if you get value out of this video, please don't forget to leave it a like and subscribe to the channel for more content on great undervalued stocks. It really helps the channel if you do so. Thank you. Without further ado, let's dive into today's video. Airports are amazing businesses to invest. They are an investment in travel, which by itself is a booming trend. Of course, in the past one and a half year, travel has been devastated. But what happened is one in a hundred year event. It will completely go away, away eventually, and when it does, people will be dying for traveling again. When I think about how much traveling has become a normal part of our lives, then I think that my parents have been traveling a lot more than my grandparents in their lifetime. I have traveled immensely more than my parents in my lifetime and I have no doubt that my children will travel immensely more than me. Traveling is just a natural impulse of human beings and I believe it is going to be bigger with time. Therefore, it is an interesting industry to invest. And then you have the fact that airports are basically the best travel investment because they are monopolies. Nobody can just build an airport next to yours, or if they do, it takes decades of planning and regulations, so there is little to no competition. It's not like airplane business, where you have 10 other airlines underbetting each other for who's the cheapest. With an airport, you have the monopoly in prices for a certain geographical area, and that's an amazing spot to be from a business perspective. Plus, airports' costs are more or less fixed, this means that if an extra person will fly to your airport, you will get the benefit of the increase in revenue, but at basically no extra cost. For all these reasons, airport stocks are great investments, and the market knows that, and they are pretty expensive. But not always, and we will see that Beijing Capital International Airport is pretty undervalued in my opinion. If we look at the stock price, it had a massive crash during the 2008 financial crisis. And until 2012, it traded more or less flat. But from 2012, it went on a massive bull run, quadrupling in price until 2018. It peaked, and from there, it had a massive crash of more than 60%. The big question now is, is this drop backed by fundamentals in the business, or is it some sort of short-term panic that we as long-term investors can take advantage of and profit. In my personal opinion, it is the latter, and in a minute we will go through why I think that is the case. But first, let's take a step back and let's put Beijing Capital International Airport in a perspective. It was founded in 1959 and for basically 60 years it has been the only international aeronautical hub for Beijing. It became the busiest airport in Asia with regard to passenger traffic and total departure in 2009. And it grew so much that it reached the full capacity of 80 million passengers annually in 2012. And ever since, it has been running above the maximum capacity. The airport has two ways to make money. Aeronautical business, and that's for example fees for airplane landing and takeoff as well as grounding fees, etc. And non-aeronautical business, which is for example restaurants and catering at the airport, duty-free, advertisement space, car parking, etc. Lockdowns in the last one and a half year have totally hammered the business. Both aeronautically and non-aeronautical revenues decreased more than 60% in 2020 as compared to 2019. The good news, however, is that this will not last forever. Sooner or later the business will be back, people will want to travel again, and the good numbers will come back. That, however, was not the only bad news. In 2019, Daxing International Airport opened, effectively flipping the monopoly of Beijing Capital International Airport to a duopoly. 
this has freaked out a lot of investors because obviously this is here to stay. The lockdowns are going to end, whereas this is real competition. However, in my opinion, this is actually not a big deal and in some ways it might even help Beijing Capital International Airport. Let me explain you why. First of all, it's all a matter of location. The old airport is the most convenient, full stop. From the center of Beijing, Tainanmen Square, it takes an hour to drive to the new airport, whereas it takes only 36 minutes to the old airport, which is basically half the time. And all things equal, location matter, and I would expect that the most premium flights will opt to use the old airport, even if they charge a bit more. Furthermore, it is already established airport. The new airport is only two years old and it will take a while to figure out all things. Delays, this doesn't work, the other thing doesn't work, etc. So if you are an airline company and you want to be safe, you stick to the old airport for now. Then there is the fact that Beijing is the capital of the most populous country in the world. There are a lot, a lot of passengers. Beijing Capital International Airport was built to accommodate 80 million passengers per year. It reached that level already back in 2012, and after that it has been running over capacity. In 2018 and 19, it peaked at 100 million passengers per year, for then of course plunging during the lockdowns. This overcapacity is both good and bad. Obviously, more people mean more restaurant revenues, advertising, etc., which is good, but it caused a lot of problems in terms of delayed flights, congestions, and other things. The airport was designed for 80 million, not 100 million. The best case scenario would be to run at capacity, or slightly over, to maximize the profits on that. Then, there is the thing that the new airport is far from fully operational, although it opened two years ago. It has a capacity of 75 million passengers, so slightly less actually than the old airport, and in 2020 it had 16 million passengers. It will ramp up over the next years, but it will take a while to reach capacity. It will not happen overnight. Moreover, there is an ever-growing trajectory of more and more passengers passing over Beijing over the years. And if the trajectory holds, I think that there will be about 150 million passengers by 2030 approximately, which is enough people to fill the entire capacity of both airports. So as you can see, it is not a game of which airport will win, both will win. It is a duopoly. There is enough demand for two airports in the capital of the most populous country on earth. I think that the fear of the opening of the second airport is overly exaggerated, if you have a time horizon longer than a couple of years. I think that both airports will do very, very good. Another bullish part of the puzzle is that in 2019, the vast majority of aircraft movements at Beijing Capital International Airport were domestic, and the other part, only 22%, were international. This is an important factor because international flights bring much more money than domestic flights, about double as much, and that is both because the international fees are higher and because they carry more people. Many of the flights relocated into Daxing are domestic, and I believe that this will allow the old airport to handpick a greater proportion of international flights. Whether this will actually happen we will see it in the coming annual reports. I will certainly keep you subscribers updated. Said all that, let's look at how the company is valued. If you were to buy all stocks existing in the market and own the company 100%, you would have to pay 25 billion Hong Kong dollars, which is 3.28 billion US dollars. That valuation is ridiculously cheap if you compare it with the cost of constructing Daxing Airport, which is approximately $12 billion. And I remind you that the two airports are similar in size. Actually, the old airport can accommodate a few million passengers more per year, but the old airport is valued at a third of the price of the new airport. There is a big misprice over there. Moreover, if you look at the price to book ratio of the old airport, it is one, meaning that the price that you pay is the price of all assets the company own, restaurants, runways, 
parking lot, etc. Price to book ratio is usually much more than one. Paying a one price to book ratio means that you are paying for how much stuff is there and is worth today. And all the growth and future revenue increase is essentially for free. I like that. If we look at their income statement, we can see that they earned about 2.5 billion Chinese won in 2019, which I believe is an extremely realistic target to reach again once the lockdowns are long gone. That number gives a company a price to earning multiple of 7.5, which is extremely low. Comparing it with other Chinese airports, we can see that Shanghai Airport has a price to earning multiple of 17.5 and Shenzhen Airport of 26.7. So Beijing Capital International Airport is very cheap by a lot of metrics. In my opinion, this stock has been beaten down more than it should. And in the long term, it could easily 3x in price from here to catch up with the fundamentals. Remember though, that this is my opinion, not financial advice. And I am not a financial advisor. Last couple of things before we go. Let's look at the risks because of course there are risks. I don't see lockdowns as risks because if you are investing in the long term, it will be eventually become a thing of the past. However, we must know that more than half of the shares outstanding are owned by a company called Capital Airport Holding Company, where the Chinese government is part of it, and the same company owns Daxing Airport. This is a real risk because it is likely that there will be some self-dealing in there. Moreover, the debt is relatively high, at 4.3 billion Chinese won. So the company must be careful with the refinancing of debt and paying it off. To conclude, I really like this company. It has a huge moat. It is the closest airport to the capital of the biggest country in the world. In my personal opinion, Beijing Capital International Airport price has been decreasing too much as compared to its fundamentals. Lockdowns will end and Daxing Airport opening is not alarming when you look at it in the long term. Actually, it might even free space for international flights that bring in more revenues. For the risks, watch out for self-dealing of the parent company and manage that. My target is a 3x in stock price in the next three years. I hope you learned something new and if you enjoyed, please click the like and subscribe to the channel. It helps with the YouTube algorithm and allows me to make more videos like this. Before we go, I must remind you that I'm not a financial advisor and this content is not financial advice. It's just my view and is meant for entertainment only. Please do your own due diligence before investing in any instrument. Have a great day.